There are people saying that ketchup comes from rotten tomatoes. So now I'm gonna watch a video from my ketchup factory to prove if it's right or wrong and react to it. So here we have the video, it's called how tomato ketchup is made. These machines are kinda cool and when it's for like ketchup production you don't even have to worry if the tomatoes are gonna get damaged a bit because they are gonna get mashed up anyways. Comment down below if you've seen tomato harvesting like this already. Because I knew only like about robots in greenhouses that pick tomatoes. But I didn't know that actually on a field you can have machines like this. <laughs> this trailer is bigger than what they use for corn. Oh that's a nice cinematic shot. Now to the good stuff. So a factory. Nice, okay. Storing tomatoes. Oh, by, why, why? Are these potatoes? These are potatoes. Why would you have potatoes in your tomatoes? I like the plants are from the same family, but but why the f <laughs> why the f would you supply? A ketchup making company with tomato uh, with potatoes instead of tomatoes. Whatever. Nice. So some testing going on, I guess. Well, so far I haven't seen one rotten tomato, so that's good. What are those? This looks like. Yeah, well, I guess they are unripe tomatoes. But looks pretty potato-like to me. Well, but I guess it got separated, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope they clean this bit regularly. Nice wash, okay, okay. But these are looking like some nice ripe tomatoes so far. What very well. Oh oh yeah, so it looks like they boil them, which would make sense I guess to like get rid of potential microbes and stuff. Yeah. Quite a few workers. Which are. What are they doing? Sorting? The fuck? Oh, yeah, they are picking the bad stuff out. This is some hard labor, doesn't have to like, doesn't seem like it, but when you are standing at a conveyor belt 12 hours a day or 6 days a week, isn't much fun. <laughs> the overseer. So now we get to the packaging. Okay, they are already mashed. Well, they didn't show the mashing process, but this looks... This looks nasty, the wheel. And this... Oh, 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 oh. This thing looks nasty. And what is... What is this? Well, it looks like nobody gives a f about the... Uh, or only partially about the... Uh, Hygiene in this factory. Ow. Oh, this is some nice stuff right there. Oh, nice. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> This thing looks like a 
like a outside slide in a water park. <laughs> okay, so I guess they make multiple things in this factory. On one side they make like peeled potatoes or chopped potatoes and also ketchup. Or do they just combine these two? What were they? They are putting leaves in it? Okay. This looks like some... Either cleaning process of the cans or some heat or pasteurization process. make the food safe okay we have a lab packaging line okay I feel like this is a <laughs> different factory now honestly it seems much more clean than the other one in Italy This seems almost like an ad for the factory plant. Okay, that's all. Well, I didn't see rotten tomatoes anywhere, but these are only two plants. The outer, the, the B technology doesn't even say where is the footage from, so I guess we'll never know. But I feel like this is a big conspiracy, so there are essentially two possibilities. First, someone made it up that uh, they are putting rotten tomatoes into ketchup to damage the brand or like the industry, or the second possibility that is true and that there are rotten tomatoes in ketchup and the ketchup producers just do a good job in hiding it but obviously when you saw the amount of tomatoes there is no chance that if there was one tomato amongst the millions and millions of tomatoes and it was starting to go bad that somebody would notice when we saw for example the plant in italy there wasn't any ai control or like robots with cameras or sensors visible so obviously it can happen like from a just logical thinking that a rotten tomato could get into ketchup but we also saw that they were boiling them and that there was some pasteurization going on at the end from this video i can say that the factory was taking some steps to ensure the safety of their product but again that doesn't mean that there couldn't be a rotten tomato somewhere shredded up i think they are trying to avoid it like the big companies could essentially only get away with it if they would make the rotten tomatoes taste good like obviously if you have a rotten tomato it tastes like shit. i didn't i didn't taste it but one could assume that a rotten stuff tastes like shit. And if you were a big company trying to get people to buy your stuff, then you wouldn't want to sell ketchup that tastes like sh** because nobody would buy it. So either you would try to use rotten tomatoes because they can be cheaper, but you would have to make them taste good or you would go with the like sane route of using normal ripe tomatoes which by nature tastes good so i guess it's just easier to go with the ripe and not rotten tomatoes to make ketchup and that it wouldn't make much sense for these again big companies to use rotten tomatoes in the ketchup but i'm not a ketchup expert so i guess anything could be possible thanks for watching and see you tomorrow